I swear to God, every day when I hear the news or I have to go online to figure out that I've been flagged and this is your first offense. So it's just gonna be a warning. And I'm like, I didn't even do anything wrong. Like, what are you talking about? I just like think for myself. And yet today on Twitter still, people are talking about all white people have to die. <laughs> Okay, guys, I cuss, I vape. If you have children around, turn this off now. But don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and share with anybody who you think would enjoy my content. But guys, I'm finding it very, 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 very difficult to find hope in any of this. I mean, at the G7 meeting, okay, they decided, you know what? Finding who was responsible for COVID, wait, Rona, the China virus, whatever the F you want to call it, not important, not important at all. We, we just got to get the economy back. Okay, so, okay, let's back it up, homeboy. So you want to tell me that the entire global economic system has been affected, that people have gone into straight addiction, uh, mass homicide, mass crime, mass all of this stuff. And you're like, uh, yeah, no, not that big of a deal. We don't need to look into the origins. Let's just go about everyday life. And I'm thinking, really? Really? Because all we hear every day on the news is like, but January... Oh, my bad. Okay, so all we hear about every day is like January 6th insurgent. The insurgent and the insurgent. Their YouTube algorithm fact checkers, this is a fact. There were BLM and... No, not BLM. Antifa people who even posted on their accounts that they were going as like undercover Trump supporters and they were going to go in there and create chaos and havoc, you know? And I just find it really odd. Like nobody really thinks about that kind of stuff. We're, we're just also trusting, right? So we literally have like in Baltimore, New York, like Chicago, we have all these cities where cops are just quitting their jobs, taking their money, they're leaving, they're walking Taxes so high, people are leaving. Democrats being recalled. You have um, a whole connection of a deep state that is literally connected with the CCCCPPPP. All right, uh, Biden, TikTok, good. I mean, uh, mm, we're still talking about January 6th, really? Really? Like, really? Are you sure? Because, like, seriously, though, the Democratic Party. Hey, what the? Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I have to watch what I say. Because, like, right now, I have some, like, serious ass haters trolling me and, like, trying to get my videos deleted. I don't appreciate that. This is how I see. I think for myself. I feel for myself. I see things how I view them. And if you don't like it, tough shit. If you don't agree with me, who fucking cares? And all you sissy ass little liberal kids, let me tell you something. Life is a bitch. It's a bitch and it's hard and it's mean and there's karma and there's all sorts of things that are going to happen in your life. And you can't blame it on everything but your own decision. So we have a society right now of people who blame everything on the environment, but take zero responsibility for their own actions. Like dummy AOC. Well, if we have less prisons, we have less crime. No, no. No, 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 no. Like, she really has to be out. And I believe uh, McCartney 
is actually doing a petition now to get Ilhan Omar out of there because of the same rhetoric. I mean, you got to think, like, just like, um, what was the chick? Lori something and Felicity Heifman or whatever. You have to really look at how big this... I know I ramble and I go off and on, off and on in different topics. It's just the way my mind works. But anybody who knows me, they get it. But anyways, so we watch these people commit high federal offenses and they basically get a slap on the hand. But we have all this social justice, you know, justice and, you know, prison reform and, you know, um, white privilege. But when it comes to Hollywood or Democrats or mainstream TV that goes along with this anti-America, pro-CCP, you know, we're not going to talk about the colonial pipeline that destroyed a ton of American jobs. But, you know, since Russia is like hacking all of our stuff and interfering with our elections and they're such the boogeyman, you know, like Obama being caught going, hey, I'll be able to do more after the election when Hillary Clinton was speaking. Come on, think about it. You have a, a Russia, okay, like Putin. Do you really think this dude is going to just sit around and let people bash him and talk mad crap about him and not do it? Oh, come on. It's, it's all to get in your head and manipulate you and make you think some kind of thing. And it's like, I don't agree with everything Trump does. Honestly, I think he's part of the PSYOP. I think he's here to keep us patriots. And us, I guess you would call us conservatives. But what is a conservative now? A conservative is a white supremacist. Even if you're black, you can be black. And if you're a conservative, <laughs> nope, you lose your race. You are a white supremacist. White supremacist. White supremacy everywhere. And I'm like, really? No, I don't see it. But see, they keep you so distracted with this, this stuff. And I'm thinking, you know, G7 meeting. They would want to know. I would want to know. Who bankrupted all of our small businesses? Who kept people in a state of fear to where they now have PTSD, anxiety, and everybody orders everything online? Well, that two-tier system, it, it's going on. Not only legally in our legal, like, government to where, you know, you could be Christy Teigen or a Yale professor or, you know, someone on, like, the Elijah Factor. And you can just talk about openly killing white people. How white people are evil. They need to be, you know, cleansed from the world. They're so bad. They're so evil. Oh, they did this. They did that. And you know what, I did a video, I think like a year and a half ago, it was actually one of my first videos that I did on like how in South Africa, the leaders actually allowed and, well, campaigned for white farmers to be murdered and their land taken and it's completely okay. Hmm. Everybody said that was a conspiracy. But now you have our own media. Like, allowing, talking about killing a race. We want to, you know, everybody wants to talk about Florida, minute of prayer. But we're supposed to respect Islam. But we're deplorable and evil and crazy God-worshipping freaks, if if we talk about God. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because Christianity is a theory. Islam is a religion. Like, doesn't anybody understand? That one minute of prayer, not everybody's praying to a God. A lot of those kids are probably praying like, hey, I hope we have a Christmas, or I hope we have food this week 
or I hope, you know, I can have this. They're not, they're not in this political realm. They're not there. So what DeSantis did is actually a good thing because kids are inner, innocent, completely innocent, and they should not be caught up in this bullshit. And that is purely on the Democrat side, just like Soros with Greta Thun, oh, all oh, the freaking Hollywood elites. I hate them. You've ruined so many of my favorite movies. Like Witches of East Wit. Thank you, Cher, Jack Nicholson. I can't, Al Pacino. There's so many movies I love that I can't fuck with anymore because you ruined it. You ruined it with this political crap. But at the end of the day, there's... Everybody worships everything else. Just because you don't believe in the same religion, you don't believe in somebody's beliefs. I mean, you can't cancel one for the other. So why can't anybody be, you know, seeing it as a positive view? As this is healthy for kids. They'll have a minute of silence. And they're praying. God knows what they're praying for. They're not praying for LGBTQ pride parades. Or, no. The kids that age are usually, you know, praying for things in their life to get better. And, and what is wrong with kids having a higher power other than politicians and celebrities and all these other weird things? Why, why are Democrats and liberals so threatened by spirituality? Why do, you, why do you want to deaden us in our soul? All you spew is hate and negativity 24-7. 24-7. So for somebody to actually mandate kids to be able to have a moment of silence to pray, you don't know who they're praying to. They could be praying that their dad comes back home. They could be praying that their grandmother gets healed of cancer. Do you see what I'm saying? But everybody always takes it into this political atmosphere. And I mean, it's not really anybody's fault because, sorry, I got a new chair, but it's not comfortable at all. I try to like put a pillow with it. I don't know. I got to figure out a new setup. But anyways... Nobody ever looks at anything positive. And it's always about Trump. Who fucking cares about Trump, dude? Majority of people who have to go get gas in their car or deal with shit in order to keep my job, I have to get a vaccine. See, there are real people problems. <laughs> and the media is just like, They're just like, where do they go? Like, they're off in their own bubble of, you don't relate to us at all, at all. But yet these are the people that are, are poisoning people's minds into thinking that, you know, Ilhan Omar saying, oh, what was it she said? Hold on, hold on guys. Thank you for being patient. And if you're still watching right now, I love you so much. I know I ramble and I rant, whatever. This is me venting. This is my channel. And I hate when people go in the comments and they're like, you went on this topic and then that topic and like this. Dude, I'm sorry, but like I don't have like a teleprompter. For anybody to be able to get behind a camera and speak off the top of their head on how they're feeling and thinking, Apparently, I'm not doing it for clicks and likes and for fame. I'm doing it because it's something I'm passionate about. Because I, I'm empathic. I, I feel this stuff. I see what's happening with everything getting delivered, work from home. You know, you got Faki. Oh, the Indian variant is going to kill us all. <laughs> Just so you'll go get those booster vaccines, you know, and they're... They're just totally discrediting the fact that he got caught up lying, just like Hillary, everybody else. 
But, you know, at, at some time, somebody's got to get a little honest here because it's kind of like, you know, I declare bullshit. You know, I just, I declare shenanigans. Just thank God in my state, like, I don't have to worry about this because I'm in Texas. Like, we don't have to do this stupid, like, COVID vaccine, you know, passport or whatever. But it will be in the next three years. It's going to be a for real thing. And I just, I, I just don't understand how people are like, you know, it's Islamophobe. It's that. It's this. Well, no, no, not really. It's the truth. Like, okay, I might, what was I looking for? Hold on. I totally forgot. Sorry, guys. Like, I have so much in my thoughts and so much in my mind, but I can only talk about things in a certain way. So it's really hard for me to, like, be able to follow, like, one direction because I, uh, what I want to say, and it could be, like, totally looked into badly. Oh, another thing. All right. Forget what I was even talking about. All right, so look at this, okay? It's a little girl twerking. Wait, can you see it? All right, little girl twerking at a gay pride parade. Look, I love my gays. I love them all. Like, seriously, I love my gays because they're like the best friends to have. But I have friends who are... I guess now they're considered trans and they're disgusted by this. This is sexually exploiting children. This is wrong. It's really wrong. Like critical race theory and um, white genocide and get everybody vaccinated, even though all the vaccine stuff really isn't that accurate. Oh, another thing. Where was I going with this? People being, I think it was like people being offended by prayer, but yet the Senate keeps confirming more Muslims. And remember when I told you like Obama was a Muslim? He is Muslim. He's Hitler's grandson. That is my opinion, not trying to share misinformation. So is Angela Merkel. Okay. Project Paperclip. It's a real thing. I forget what I was saying. I've had like such a couple past few days, honestly. So like I have stuff in my mind. And it's fucking up my creative shit. Which is like bummer. Because I was like really back on my game. But when you're an empath. You feel things like I can feel these things that I don't even want to feel. Like right now you have all these people for uh, citizen climate disobedience rallies. Okay, let's let's be real here. So only America, Australia, and like three other countries are going to participate in the Green New Deal. And then China and all the other ones keep spreading more crap. Speaking of China. <laughs> okay, you know how they have all that nuclear waste? Yep. Oh. China nuclear reactor drama. Maybe less concerning than politics. How? This is a nuclear power plant that has some for real, like how, how is this not news? Instead, we have all these little bratty ass kids running around bitching about climate. Hello, McFly. Like, for real, in schools, like my daughters are in summer school, and it is so embarrassing. 
They can literally, they're literally going for five weeks and they're completing a full year of school. Because they wouldn't get up to do their damn work and I wasn't going to do it for them. I'm just like, you know what? Go to summer school. It seemed like an easy, now I'm like, damn, that was genius because I didn't have to fight with them. But at the same time, that just tells you about the education system, you know? It's like, <sighs> we're finding civilizations that have seen, like, actual nuclear war, like, around Egyptian time and all that. Like, Noah, the flood, like, all these things coming to fruition. And instead, we have <clears throat> all these made-up things. <clears throat> totally made up. Totally made up. And I'm just like, this shit has gotten so clicky. It's like high school crap. You know what I mean? Who's more popular? Who's doing this? Who's doing that? Someone will get you canceled. All this kind of crap. But in the meantime, there's some serious stuff going on in the world. Okay. Our magnetic poles are shifting at a dramatic rate. Okay. It happens every couple thousand years. So, you know, like ice ages and just like in our Antarctica, they're like, the ice is melting. Well, yeah, because the magnetic poles are shifting. Not only that, you have Elon Musk and every other dumbass out. Th oh, wait. Elon Musk is a genius. Everybody who's dropping all these satellites in space, amazing scientists amazing what they're not telling you like with 5g is there are frequencies we can't see you know just like how dogs can hear certain sounds or see certain things or you know just like that well our earth has a, a magnetic field and all that kind of stuff well it's flipping and then you have which is magnetic okay which, and we already found out our planet is going like, I think, 50 times faster than normal a year, which would make sense. Remember, count 10 Mississippis. That's a minute. You barely get to five Mississippis and a minute's gone. Like I said, the days are flying by. And the sun doesn't go down to like nine something at night. I'm like, oh, God help me. But anyways, so... Yeah, the climates are changing and shifting just like everything else we've learned throughout history. We're finding sunken cities and oceans. So what makes you think that if we just, you know, all drive electric cars and we don't eat meat, like what makes you think you're so protected from the forces of nature? This is, this, these are natural planetary cycles. But what they're not telling you is all this money for the Green New Deal. Oh, uh, I can't say that. All right. Look into this. All right. Under the Denver airport. Okay. There's a huge underground. Well, it's a conspiracy. So they say. You know, like, it's a conspiracy about this underground thing in Denver airport. But actually... Ooh, there's Masonic symbolism everywhere. Right or wrong? Yes. Okay, so then you have like all these people doing underground bunkers and, you know, like anytime any kind of truth comes out, they're automatically like trying to cover it up, shade it up. Like with the Ring of Fire volcanoes, all these earthquakes, Yellowstone, has some crazy stuff going on with it right now. The Georgia guy is stones. I mean, when it comes down to it, nothing is by coincidence. Okay? And if you really think about it, even like Leonardo da Vinci and all these people, they had to hide their knowledge in paintings. And you have people going after like, the, the Ark of the Covenant, you know, you, you hear all these crazy things that are, people are like, oh, they're just conspiracy, oh, but a lot of them are coming true. 
So when you see all these people in Southern America coming up here in Soros and Jack Dorsey and Zuckerberg buying up all this stuff in Africa and Venezuela and all these countries. And if you look up videos in Venezuela a couple of years ago when they were defending themselves against tyranny, they look just like us. And now you, I mean, honestly, neither political party is right. They're, bo they're both sick. Because they're like, yes, anti-riot, anti-hate. <laughs> Baby, do you understand where that goes? Okay, so they're saying, okay, anti-riot, right? Most people are like, thank God, BLM, Antifa, they're going to stop. No, 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 no. See, it sounds good at first, but what happens is when you're the one fighting, like, whoa, this is government overreach. What about my HIPAA laws? What about my rights? They're like, no, sorry, we passed a bill that said you can't stand up for them anymore. It's a double-ended sword. And everybody in this country falls for it. You already have China saying, like, they're going to own America in 15 years. We watch all these people kissing their butts and doing all this. I mean, just like here in Houston, the CCP burned down crap. You have, like, oh, my God, dude. You just honestly... A lot of people get addicted to a lot of YouTube videos. Everybody wants to kind of figure out what's going on, what's going to happen. But the truth is, when you're Googling and researching and looking because there's something in you that's making you do that, it's because that's your intuition guiding you to see things for what they are. Because it's, it's really easy to live in a bubble. You know, it's very easy to be comfortable. Nobody wants to step out of their comfort zone. But for us adults right now, especially people who have children, like I even told my kids, I don't think you should have kids. No way. This is an insane world. No way. And you're white. <laughs> like, don't do it. They're going to get killed. I mean, no. Not misinformation. I'm venting. But anyways, it's. I mean, if you think about it, in all these other countries, like you have China, you know, with, you know, they're literally killing Muslims. They're, they're sterilizing people. People are doing all sorts of fun. I did my self-tanner today. And my daughter's always telling me, like, are you trying to look Mexican? I'm like, no, it's just really bright at first. But, I mean... People really have to start thinking of long-term consequences of things that are happening right now. Not just because you want likes or clicks or you don't want to be deleted or you don't want people to hate you or any of that. No. Mm -mm. It's not how it works. Because, like, I look at my kids and think of, like, possible, dr like, blah, 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 blah. grandchildren. And I'm like, dude, holy crap. <laughs> like, wow. Like, I, I can't imagine. I can't. I, I just, the childhood that my, my generation grew up with, do we have, we had fun. Now, I don't even want my daughter to leave the house because I'm in Texas. And you know how Kamala Harris wants to keep, acting like nothing's happening at the border. You have all this trafficking, fentanyl. Um, my son, three of his friends died because they were fucking around with something and it was laced with fentanyl. You know, I, I just think it's sad that the media and celebrities and all these people are completely ignoring reality out of their own selfish 
fucked up intentions. And I get it. I understand if your family's being threatened, your livelihood. But one day you're going to be gone too. So at the end of the day, you have to go to bed with yourself. You have to ask yourself, are you fighting for what's right or what's wrong? And I don't insinuate violence at all. I don't. I, I, I just think that people should get to know somebody before they judge them and label them and hate them and wish death upon them and pain. Because I don't, I mean, I consider myself more of like a li liberal, honestly. I mean, I'm not hardcore left or right. I'm just in the middle. I just see things logically. <laughs> Small government, less taxes. We need our freedom back. We have free will. We were not born, well, no, we were Sumerians, Anunnaki. We were born to be a slave race to like get gold and all that. But anywho, different topic. But for a lot of people, if you're even listening right now, this is like from my heart, seriously. I'll go on certain things and like I'll post stuff like about evictions and all that I understand where landlords are coming from because they're having a you you have politicians saying you can't evict somebody but you're going broke having to pay the bills while this other person is just they're collecting a check they could have put some of that check toward the rent or bills. No, because they had to screw it off, you know. So I see that point. But also, there's a point that landlords didn't ask for this. Everything that was done was unconstitutional. Nobody should have had to close their businesses. So the top six corporations get bigger and bigger. It, you know, you can go to Taco Bell, go to Burger King, don't get your hair cut. I mean, it's just like, come on. It's all an act. And the way that, like, sociopaths, like, narcissistic, like, dictators do it, just like the royal family, right? Do you know they were originally German and they changed their last name because their family member went off with a Nazi... This is my own research, personal opinion, not misinformation, a conspiracy. Okay, so what they figured out is, okay, how to survive this back in the day. We have to have PayPal's come. They, we, we need relics. We need this. I mean, I don't think people realize how duped they've been. It's... We've been duped. Everything's been rewritten, changed, and all of it stems from power, money, and control in every freaking religion and civilization. It's just sad. It's just sad that people can't just look around and be like, you know what? There's so much abundance. Life isn't really that bad. Things are good. They only got bad when you got stuck in flight or fight and fear and you turn to a government to take care of you and wipe your little hiney. But they're the ones that just stripped you of all your freedom. Out of protecting you it's for your own good how did that turn out we got inflation we have all this crazy stuff going on what is doing anything and then people are hitting my governor because he's like no i'm gonna build a wall <laughs> i'm gonna finish trump's wall and honestly you have to think about it trump whether you like him or hate him i don't honestly i think he's just part of the psyop you know but a big part of me, you know, that that naive, ignorant, is bliss part wants to truly think that he's really trying to help us. But I think it would have been done already. 
And I just think people need to realize at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We want to be loved. We want to be respected for who we are, not judged. And since, since Trump ran for office, okay, ask yourself, seven years ago, how would you react to people literally just robbing Whole Foods, robbing CVS, Walgreens, and they can't get arrested? Or our cops, our military is demonized, ICE, white people, Christians, Jews, okay? Uh, free speech. We got Mr. Harry saying, you know, oh, it's rubbish. I'm like... Everything that's happening right now is because you, when somebody constantly, like on TV, democracy, this and that, or democracy, or democracy, or democracy, you gotta think like, why are they so focused on that? You always have to think like, devil's advocate. And what do they have to gain from it? Every civilization that has risen and fallen is out of greed, control, money, and I, oh God, ask yourself this, okay? Before Trump was elected, did you still have these same feelings or is it only because you're constantly being told to feel and think that way through talk shows, music, everything? It's all just constantly shoved on your face fucking throat like I, I don't even watch tv like honestly somehow like I disconnected my wi-fi from my tvs and I don't know how and I'm like eh fuck it <laughs> like I don't even watch tv because to me it's all crap you know and it's like the propaganda is so thick and so gross and I'm watching kids take injections of melanin who are white to darken their skin. And I'm thinking, where are their parents? Their parents have fucking failed them. Not only that, it's like every day you have mothers killing their young kids. These are young moms killing their kids. There's our law and order's gone, dude. Look up videos on Venezuela from like three, four years ago. And you'll realize what's really going on. But they just use all these different things like January 6th. And I'm thinking, Portland's still being beat to hell. <laughs> all these things are really happening. Like here in Houston, our crime rate's up like, like 28% just since Biden was positioned in office by a group of unelected bureaucratic people. My thoughts, not in misinformation, my own random thoughts. That's my conclusion. I'll just, you know what, I'll call myself Stephanie the Theologian. But back in the day, do you know the Christian church, the popes? If you were mystical or you had your own free thinking, they called it blasphemy heresy, and they killed you. Do you know that there are states right now that are legalizing gas chambers again? You know, the re-education camps, kill all the white people at Yale. I mean, remember, Hillary Clinton was supposed to be in office, not Trump. Even though I don't really, I can't really put my finger on some of the other things. I don't think that all those things are being done just like all the FEMA camps with all those huge coffins I don't honestly I think Trump was a roadblock because that stuff is still all there if not more camps and the barbed wires to keep you in Keep you inside the encampment. Not to keep bad people out, but to keep you in. 
so what happens when, you know, everybody, every state is doing this whole vaccine, passport, blah, blah, blah. Huh? Just saying, if you really think about it and you really look at it, N A Z I S are in control. When will people realize this? I don't know. To me, it's depressing. But also, my heart's kind of broken right now. So I haven't really been able to focus. But I don't know. I love you guys. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Is there anything I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Love you. Good night.